Welcome to the 2020 International Golden Compass Gala VIP Meet and Greet. This virtual event is the first for Seafarer's House and we are so glad you are here to share it with us. You, our amazing and dedicated sponsors, have made tonight possible and you continue to make it possible for Seafarer's House to serve seafarers during these incredibly difficult times. So thank you very much. We are thrilled to be able to bring this party to you tonight and to celebrate our exceptional honoree, Lisa Lutoff Perlo. We have a fun night in store for you. Our presenting sponsor, Celebrity Cruises, has gone overboard to provide us with the incredible entertainment that they are known for. We have some great auction prizes also, so please keep your cell phones up and keep on bidding. Of course, we look forward to presenting the esteemed Golden Compass Award to Lisa later on this evening. We're going to have such a great time. Although this year's gala will bring us together from a variety of locations, our reason for attending remains the same. There's a term you'll often hear used in the maritime world that will resonate especially tonight. That is coming alongside. The Greek word harakletos painted a unique word picture for sailors of the ancient world. When a ship became disabled because of a wreck or disrepair, another ship would be dispatched to come alongside the first one and accompany the disabled vessel to safe harbor. That second ship was a parakletos. Recall that visual when someone you know is in need of safe harbor. Seafarer's House thanks you for coming alongside us and our maritime community tonight and always. In a few minutes, we're going to zoom you into private breakout rooms so that you'll have some time to network and chat with fellow guests. And our honoree, Lisa Lutoff Perlow, will visit each room. But first, I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest to say a few words. We are honored to have the new director of Port Everglades, Jonathan Daniels, join us this evening. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Ann, and thanks for having me here tonight. I'm thrilled to be joining you for my first Golden Compass Gala. Port Everglades is proud to sponsor the Seafarer's House Annual International Golden Compass Awards Gala. This year, I'm especially excited that the award honoree is our own Lisa Ludolf Perlow, President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. This year, the event has gone virtual, but no less eventful, thanks to the Golden Compass Committee and the Seafarer's House staff. We're excited that Lisa is being recognized by the maritime community as a business leader whose vision and strategy has propelled Celebrity Cruises to historical financial performance, thereby solidifying her reputation as a bold innovator in the complex, never-changing maritime industry. Lisa leads the multi-billion dollar brand with ships sailing to 300 plus global ports, with each ship's crew representing more than 60 nationalities and a diverse global workforce of more than 19,000. She also leave, leads Royal Caribbean's Cruises Global Marine Organization, ensuring that the corporation's $28 billion fleet of 59 ships run safely, smoothly, and efficiently across all the line's brands. Lisa is an avid champion for diversity and inclusion, and she is an advocate for women. Lisa has changed the conversation around cultural and gender equality in the maritime industry by igniting initiatives that raise the percentage of female officers on ships' bridges and landside operations, including hiring the first female American captain, the first female African bridge officer, the first female Ecuadorian captain, and she has received numerous prestigious awards for her groundbreaking work, contributions to the travel industry, and business communities. Port Everglades and Broward County congratulate Lisa for making waves in the cruise industry and putting women at the helm. And we're honored that she chose Port Everglades to launch Celebrity Cruises' newest generation of revolutionary ships with a Celebrity Edge at our innovative cruise terminal 25. Now, I have the privilege of sharing some special news with you tonight. Tonight, we are proud to confer that the Broward County Board of Commissioners, through a proclamation sponsored by our own Commissioner Lamar Fisher, who joins us here tonight, hereby designates Saturday, September 26, 2020, as Lisa Ludolph Perlow Appreciation Day in Broward County, and recognizes her for her contributions to the maritime industry. Congratulations, Lisa. We're proud to be able to honor you tonight. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you very much, Jonathan. 
and a very well-deserved honor, Lisa. Okay, folks, a quick reminder that if you've not yet registered on the One Cause bidding site, you want to make sure you do it now so you can participate in the auctions and our Give from the Heart campaign. You'll find the link you need in the email you received earlier today about this event or check the chat box on your screen. And now we're going to give you, our key sponsors, some time to mingle with your fellow guests. You will be zoomed into a few private rooms for about 10 minutes to chat, and then we will all meet back up here just before 7 p.m. to sign off from this VIP reception and log on to the official gala. We'll see you again soon. Enjoy. We hope you had fun socializing with your fellow guests in this virtual environment. We still have a great night in store for you, but it's now time to log off from this VIP reception and log back into the link for the gala program. You'll see the link in the chat box and also below on your screen. In addition, you received it in the emails about this event earlier today. You have a few minutes to sign back in, but don't be late. We're kicking off with some fabulous entertainment that you will not want to miss. So we're gonna see you in just a couple of minutes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry we're all having to do this virtually, but I have the distinct honor and privilege of officially kicking off tonight's International Golden Compass Virtual Gala for the Seafarer's House of Port Everglades. For the last 30 years, Seafarer's House has played an important role in supporting our crew and that of many other mariners. With this year's pause in the cruise industry operations, and as you will hear tonight, Mariners need this organization's support, your support, more than ever. I'm actually particularly pleased to have an opportunity to say a few words about tonight's honoree, the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, Lisa Lutoff-Furlow. You know, there are two particular reasons that I'm so pleased to be in the position to do this tonight. Firstly, it's an honor to thank Seafarer's House and all you supporters for all that you do every day for the men and women who work at sea. But secondly, it's a special privilege to salute my friend, Lisa lutoff Perlo for the outstanding work she does every day. Lisa has received many honors for her contributions in so many areas, but I think this one is particularly appropriate because of her consistent and steadfast support of our seafarers, especially the crew members of the Celebrity Cruises fleet. Lisa celebrated her 35th anniversary with our company just this last May. She served as president and chief executive officer of Celebrity Cruises since 2004, and I've had the great pleasure of working closely with Lisa over this lengthy period. Fortunately, I can't claim to have been responsible for hiring her since I took my job only 32 years ago, and she's been part of our team for 35 years. So Lisa, you beat me here by three years. Many of the people this organization has honored in the past have been people who have been particularly helpful, not only to the world, broader world, but to this organization per se. And it's a very impressive group that Lisa is joining. But in Lisa's case, I'm particularly proud of her role in advancing the cause of seafarers themselves. Right here in Port Everglades at Celebrity's new T25 terminal, she insisted that we devote part of the space to a purpose-built crew lounge, free Wi-Fi, TVs, relaxation spirit, spaces, etc. It makes a big difference in the lives of our crew, and because of her, it is a reality. Now, one of the things, though, that I've admired most has been her tenacity in working to enhance the role of women on board our ships. This is clearly an important passion of hers and one that she has been driving successfully for years. She's initiated a large number of steps. Some of them are more symbolic, like having a 100% female bridge and leadership team for the crews on International Women's Day but most have been very tangible, like insisting on high targets for female navigators on our ships, or appointing the first American female captain on a cruise ship, ever. The result has been to enhance our ability to recruit and promote female mariners and to show the world 
yet another glass ceiling that can be broken. Her work has also helped in the realm of improving social justice. For example, when she worked assiduously to arrange for the first West African woman ever to work on the bridge of a cruise ship. To accomplish that, she not only had to help train the candidate, but she had to work to change local laws and regulations that would have blocked the process. But she did all that and made it happen. Lisa is the kind of person who leaves an indelible imprint on the hearts and minds of everyone she meets. And she has a unique ability to turn the smallest interaction into a wonderfully memorable moment. And memories are what is so important. Lisa, thank you for all you've done and you continue to do for the Royal Caribbean Group, the Celebrity Cruises, for our crew and the communities that we serve. My deepest congratulations on being honored this evening and my congratulations to all of you for such an amazing event. I'm now excited to start the program by introducing some very special entertainers. I had the pleasure of seeing them earlier this year on, on board Celebrity's stunning brand new ship, Celebrity Apex. And so I hope you enjoy the talent of this phenomenal a cappella group as much as I do. Ladies and gentlemen, straight no chaser. Thank you so much, guys. Wow, those harmonies were just fantastic. Let's give special thanks to Straight No Chaser for that incredible performance and a wonderful start to our night. I love a great a cappella performance. It's quite an honor to have Richard Fain, Chairman and CEO of Royal Caribbean, at the top of our show. Thank you for welcoming us tonight, Richard. And good evening to all of you, and thank you for joining us for our 24th annual International Golden Compass Gala, our first virtual event. We were so sorry we could not get together in person, but we are excited to be here together tonight to honor a truly deserving leader, President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, Lisa Lutoff Perlow. The Golden Compass Award recognizes someone who has made a significant impact in the maritime industry, and Lisa truly fits that bill. I am a real fan. Celebrity Cruises, our presenting sponsor, has pulled out all the stops to help us put on an incredible show tonight in Lisa's honor. You will continue to see some delightful entertainment throughout the evening, like the act you just saw. The virtual space gives us an opportunity to share this event globally, and tonight a global forum could not be more appropriate. Each year, we ask our Golden Compass honoree what would make the evening perfect for them, and Lisa's response was to have celebrity crew join in on the fun. So tonight, we have several celebrity ships tuning in to share in the celebration. Hello, celebrity crew members. We are so glad you are here with us. The gala is an important fundraiser that allows Seafarer's House to continue caring for the hardworking men and women of the sea. It raises about half of our annual budget each year. Your support tonight helps us carry on our mission, even during the most difficult of times. Through these times, we are continuing to offer our care to seafarers who are staying locally as travel restrictions do not allow them to go home. We provide virtual worship services for crew sailing around the world, and the facilities in our CASA inside Port Everglades are still open for the port community and mariners who are able to visit. Plans are moving ahead for our new place of welcome, and we expect to break ground for the new center later this year. We are and will remain here for the crew who need us, evolving to meet their changing needs. We invite you to visit our website and reach out to learn more. We'd love to have you involved. And now, I have the great honor of introducing our talented friend and master of ceremonies to help guide us through the night. Let's welcome Nick Weir, Senior Vice President of Entertainment with Royal Caribbean International. Nick, we are so excited to have you back with us this year to run the show. Thank you and welcome to the stage. Thank you, Leslie. 
It is great to be back. I'm honored to be back. In fact, I did this event two years ago, and they didn't call me last year. I thought, well, did I do something wrong? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm here now. It's going to be an interesting evening. It's a virtual evening. We're all in this together. There's absolutely nobody here. There's a few crew members all in masks. I don't even know what they look like. But the important point is, you are all here. I'm here. Let's get on with it. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Okay, so the official formal Welcome now. Thank you for tuning in to the 2020 International Golden Compass Virtual Gala. It's going to be a fabulous night of entertainment, not just fundraising, and it's entertainment celebrity style. Now, you may or may not know this, but I know a few things about entertainment, and I know what's going to be performed tonight, and it is spellbinding. Lisa Lair, my respect. You've done something beautiful. This is an incredible thing, and I can't wait to see it. Uh, we will be raising, of course, a lot of money to support the good works of Seafarer's House through the silent and the live auction, and also the somewhat famous now Give From The Heart campaign, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And of course, last but not least, we're giving massive recognition to a true trailblazer and leader in our community, the one and only Lisa Lutoff Perlow. Now, everything I'm saying tonight is for everybody, but not this. This I'm going to look down the barrel of the lens. This is just Nick talking to Lisa. I'm so honored to be doing this for you, Lisa. You are the best. You know that we love you, me and Simon. And uh, so I'm just thrilled that I got asked to present this. I'm a celebrity person. I hope Michael Bailey's not hearing this, but I'm a celebrity person in my heart. And so it's great to be here. Okay, back to everybody. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the clicker in my hand. I'm moving. Oh, now this is important. Um, this was a last minute change, but we thought we'd draw attention to this beautiful uh, item here. This is a representation of the award that Lisa is going to uh, win tonight, is going to be presented with tonight. This is a beautiful compass. Um, and for those, obviously, I know there are people watching now on ships live around the world, and you all know what I'm talking about. But this is an original magnetic compass, probably uh, built in, in Norway in the 1920s. And all the names of the previous winners are here, and you can't see this, but right there is Lisa's name on top. And the interesting thing is that this beautiful, magnificent compass, which is designed to give us direction, as Lisa has given to us in the past, um, but this is something that even today, with all the modern technology, there is a magnetic compass on every ship in the world. So it's old technology, but it's for technology we trust in our hour of need if we ever need it. Okay, so on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in bestowing the International Golden Compass Award, Seafarer's House honors those who have achieved distinction in the maritime world, those whose vocation or avocation has been uh, at sea or with those who have ministered to or otherwise assisted seafarers. And again, making it personal, I come from the sea. I used to work on ships. I'm a seafarer. So while I have the honor of presenting a lot of events like this during the year, this one, because of what's behind it and the meaning behind the work that is done by this organization, this is the one that everyone wants to host, and I'm so pleased to be doing it tonight. Okay. Now, as Leslie mentioned, this is a very important fundraising event for Seafarer's House. This is one of the big ones of the year. The organization cares for as many as 150,000 seafarers each year. That's a huge number of people, and they need every single cent, every dollar that they can get. And an evening like this, apart from the fundraising we're going to do with the auctions, is also very dependent on our generous sponsors, and we'd like to thank them now. We would like to thank our presenting sponsor, Celebrity Cruises. Our gold benefactor, Cliff Berry Environmental Services. And our silver circle of friends and patrons, American Maritime Officers, Holland America Line, Seabulk and Seacore Island Lines, World Travel Holdings, and our bronze circle of friends and patrons, Crowley Maritime, International Warehouse Services, Lloyd's Register North America, Moss, National Maritime Services, National Liquidators, Watchstander, Port Everglades, Broward County, Trans Montang Partners, and our table sponsors and our donors and underwriters, a special thank you to you also. A heartfelt thank you to all of you. All funds raised from the 
International Golden Compass Award Gala, support Seafarers House in their mission to offer refuge, resources, renewal, and respect to the maritime community through multi faith service. By the way, can you tell I'm reading this? I have a clicker. It's too much to learn, so they've put it on a screen. Is that, am I doing it? Okay, I'll carry on. Their chaplains, ship visitors, volunteers, and staff welcome as many as 150,000 crew visits each year, offering practical and spiritual care to mariners who are far from home and far from family, and I remember the feeling myself. So this is awesome help we're distributing around the world. By supporting Seafarers House tonight, you are helping them offer the hand of friendship to the hardworking men and women aboard ships that actually dock in the local area at Port Everglades. Now, we have some uh, exciting opportunities for everyone to support the course tonight. If you haven't already registered your credit card on the One Cause bidding site, then now's the time to do it. Uh, you'll find the link uh, that you need in the email that you were uh, sent earlier today, or you can check the chat box on your screen. Next page. Our silent auction is already in full swing, so have those cell phones uh, nearby and keep a watchful eye on the items you're uh, bidding on. Our silent auction closes tomorrow, Sunday, at 12 noon, so make sure you're claiming some of these great prizes while at the same time uh, helping the Seafarer's House enormously. So uh, we'll also have our Give From The Heart campaign uh, coming up and our live auction. So there's so much going on and there's so many opportunities to give money tonight, and that's really what it's all about. Okay. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce our gala co-chairs, Captain Jean Sweeney and the lovely Anne Burris, who are presently enjoying a cocktail uh, as a reward for all the hard work they've done putting this event together. And I hope you're all having a cocktail at home. Lisa, I know you are, and I will be in about an hour. Uh, while you share a cocktail at home with these extraordinary volunteers, please uh, take special note of the magnificent diamond and sapphire rings that Anne is modeling because they're going to make another appearance later as one of the live auction items. Okay, I'm going to do a showbiz intro. Ladies and gentlemen, warmly welcome, Eugene and Anne. Thanks, Nick. We are having a wonderful time so far. In fact, Jean and I are enjoying Alice in Wonderland's Red Queen, one of Eden's signature cocktails served on board Celebrity Edge and Celebrity Apex. I can't wait to be sailing on one of those ships and having this drink on board. Wow, <laughs> that is really something. I've never tasted something as wonderful as this before. I also hear you can find a recipe on the Golden Compass website. I'm sure if you find it and make it, you're gonna enjoy it. Well, Ann, cheers to a job well done. This has been a hell of a year, but we've done it. It's gala night. Time for us to sit back, kick back, and enjoy ourselves and celebrate a job well done. That's right, Gene. And we could not have done it without the tireless work of our committee, who helped us plan, pivot, and continue planning to make tonight happen. Thanks to each and every one of you. We really had such a great time working with you. And a special thanks to Maureen Ortz for coming back yet again as our auction chair. I know I have found quite a few things that I'm going to be bidding on this evening. <laughs> why, why am I not surprised at that comment, Ann? <laughs> but let's be sure to visit the Gala website to see our colorful digital journal this year for a list of all of our committee members, board members, and of course, the great number of supporters who purchased ads to recognize Lisa on a special night. Well, Ann, let's turn it back over to Nick and enjoy the rest of the evening. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I can see you're enjoying yourselves, Anne and Jean. Pour one of those cocktails for me. I shall join you in a few minutes. I love the cocktails. Okay, but seriously now, on with the show. And it's now an honor and a pleasure to introduce a senior chaplain for Seafarer's House, Father Sanford Sears who will extend a blessing as we get our fundraising properly underway. Now, Father Sandy cared for the maritime community in his early career with the U.S. Coast Guard, and now he extends that care as the head of the Seafarers House Pastoral Team. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Father Sandy. Thank you, Nick. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask your blessing on all who care for seafarers, including those who are here with us tonight. Protect and strengthen our seafarers when the hours are long. Uphold them when the work is hard. 
Bless Seafarer's House and all who work with seafarers. Keep their welcome warm and their love care unstinting. May their ministry to seafarers express your love. Most especially, we ask your constant blessing upon Lisa Lutoff Perlo as we honor her remembering her family and the over 19,000 crew members under her care. And we thank you for her numerous contributions to the maritime community and for her direction of celebrity cruises. Bless those who go the extra mile in their care for others and whose love expands to fill the present need. Bless their generosity and those receiving it. By their good example, may others' needs be met. Finally, keep us under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. Amen. Thank you, Father Sandy. Okay, well, we have all come together tonight to celebrate and support the work of the Seafarer's House while also paying tribute to the incredible Lisa Lutoff Perlo. And now, let's take a quick look at the way your generous support helps make all the difference. <laughs> Alone, stranded in a foreign land or on board a ship for months with no end in sight. This is the reality for tens of thousands of seafarers since COVID-19 hit. Weary from the uncertainty and desperate for human interaction, their mental health wanes. It is a heavy burden that they bear. Seafarers are on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, playing an essential role in maintaining the flow of vital goods, food, medicines, and medical supplies. Some seafarers work 10 to 12 hour shifts, seven days a week. Without these essential workers, the entire global supply chain would grind to a halt. But they are not alone. Seafarers House is caring for them. When global travel restrictions stranded them as they recovered from illnesses and injury, we stepped in. I felt so loved that somebody cared. And when they told me they were from the seafarers giving us support, I felt good because they brought food for us. You know, they give me medication. Prayer, 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 day by day. For 31 years, Seafarers House has been serving the Port Everglades community but never doing so under the kind of circumstances we face today. Our resources are stretched, along with the increasing demands on our clergy and volunteers. Our team is responding to every call, every text, every plea for help, every message from a vessel captain or shoreside team. No seafarer is alone. We are so grateful to those who have continued to support Seafarer's House during this difficult time. Your financial support allows us to ensure that every seafarer has a place to turn, that every seafarer has someone to offer a blessing or a comforting word, that every seafarer knows they are not alone. We hope we can continue to count on you as they continue to count on us. Wow. Um, what can I say? A picture paints a thousand words. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been here, I've been talking a lot, as you may have noticed, uh, but that video really says it all. That's what it's about. Um, and you know, really, for a lot of the people watching this who are executives in the cruise industry, you know, we, our careers are very much on the shoulders of, of those crew members. So there's so many reasons to give tonight, and I hope you do. Now look, our target is $20,000, okay? And we've already got $8,000 just from what we've done so far. Uh, in fact, actually there's a group of people, a little conglomeration got together, and uh, 6,550 of that 8,000 came from Hoare, Novak, and Skip, PA, they're written down here, I'm reading them off. McAllister Towing and Transportation, thank you to you. Uh, Dr. Langdon Miller and Marta Shee, thank you. Uh, and also American Maritime Officers Service, Amos. Uh, those people, right before we even started, decided to write a big check for 6550. We're at 8,500 already. Bill, Bill Baumgartner, Admiral Bill, oh, so great to know that you're with us. Andrew and Betty as well. Bill, we've got to get together sometime. Miss you, my friend. Okay, um, Glenn White, a thousand. We're at ninety-five hundred. 
Look at that. Meredith, 9,500 already. Uh, yes, Glenn Wiltshire for the 1,000. Uh, Bill, you are out, uh, out bid, I guess, out uh, contributed by Glenn. Bill, get your wallet out. Give us some more money. While they're thinking about giving us money, let me tell you what we can do with the cash. 50 bucks, okay, gets us prayers in peace. So one month of sacramental items used by the chaplains that visit the ships. Kevin, nice to see you, Kevin Rosef. $100, my friend. How are you, Kev? We've got to get together sometime. Hopefully it won't be a hurricane that brings us together. $1,000 from Graham Wiltshire. Very impressive. Bill, we're waiting for more. $100. By the way, last year, does everyone remember Ken Rush? He did $5,000. I wonder if he'll do it again today. Ken! <clears throat> okay. Uh, $100. That's for virtual two and a half thousand from Dick Slater. This is going well. We're at 12,100 already and I haven't even warmed up. Um, $100 for virtual services. We do a lot now virtual and online, but the tech costs money. Um, $500. Now, this is important. PPE. Now, obviously, in the Royal Group, we take care of the, the crew in every way we need to so that they can do their job safely and effectively. But other crew members may not be as fortunate. So we can help with the PPE and the new world that we're temporarily uh, in. $1,000. We call the people that give us $1,000. And Jonathan Daniels is one of them. Uh, our SOS responders. Thank you, Alexander, by the way. Uh, so what do you get for 1000 bucks? Well, that's how we take care of people that are in real trouble. They can't get home. Something happened to their flight. Something happens to their immigration. So for $1,000, we can put people up, take care of them. Um, you know, and Leslie, am I getting this right? Any uh, Okay, because you can feel free to chip in and, and give me any notes. Um, okay, 16,200 now. This is more than we dreamed of, to be honest. So it's going very well. Um, hope you're enjoying this. Uh, there's probably some people just watching it thinking, what's this man with the beard doing? A lot of people are asking, how long have you been preparing for this event? Okay, since March. That is a seafarer's beard. And it's Entirely for this night. Tony Sasso, good to see you. Thanks for being involved. Nice to see you. 16,500. Can somebody drop another thousand, please? I will read your name out. I will. Patrick Dahlgren's in the house. Nice to see you, Pat. By the way, you've been doing great work. We thank you. Healthy return to service. You're the man. We love you. Thank you very much. Uh, Peter Georgie's involved. Uh, yes. Megan Tim Boucher. Nice to have them there. I'd like to see a few more. How about some 500s? You'll feel good about it. If you're... Ken Rush! Ken Rush, you did it, my friend! $5,000. I wish his name stayed up there longer. Can we reverse? We can, re can you? Wait, everybody scream for Ken Rush! You have no idea how much. For him, $5,000 is nothing to get his name up in lights. Uh, $500 from Jane, thank you. Uh, we're at 22850 Can we keep going for a couple more minutes? I mean, I think we're doing well. Come on, guys. Listen. If you are, are you, are you in tears? Are you in tears? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're thinking about the 75 inch television, Lorenzo, and, uh, but, but you're thinking also, well, my, my career is on the shoulders of the crew, maybe forget about the 75 inch TV. Lisa Morley just did a thousand. Listen, Leslie, I think we can get to 2,600 before we move on, okay? So it's really six more people with 100. Or it's one Ken Rush and one Ellen Kennedy. Kennedy. Anne Burris, thank you. Anne, thank you, Anne. Of course Anne contributed. She's in the house. She's got the earrings on. I know she does. Lisa Morley, uh, Ellen Kennedy. Uh, so we need $950 more. $25.50. So that was Dan Thorogood. Dick Slater did a grand. Dick Slater did a grand. I probably look weird screaming down the lens. David Ross, thank you, David. Come on. Should we go for another couple of hundred? You tell me when you want to stop. I can be here. You want to go for 30,000? We're going to be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. 30,000. Can you do it? I don't even know if the camera can get me this close. 30,000. Let's go. Come on. Lisa Lair, you're involved. Lisa. Can't wait to see the video. It's coming up. Uh, I, think, I think we're running out of steam. 27,000 now. That's more than we ever dreamed of. Listen, while we're winding down, let me just explain something to you. We're not going to turn this technology off. In fact, it's live, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, until Halloween. So Halloween, that gives me a few weeks to convince Ken into giving us another five grand. Uh, seriously, thank you very much, guys, for everything. I think, I think we're going to move on. I think if we overmilk it, people will get upset with me. So it's going to stay open. Thank you, Elizabeth Oates, for that beautiful $100, whatever you can give. Open until um, uh, Halloween, 
Uh, and so just think about it a little bit. If you've got some big expenses coming and you're thinking about buying the big crazy thing you don't need, and you, then you think about that video with the crew, we'd rather have your money. Manolis! Oh, my friend, do you remember Old MacDonald's Farm? E-I-E-I? -E -I? No, it's a, it's a long story. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to close it now. So on behalf of all of us, thank you very much. You're wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a fair while ago in this proceedings, we promised you outstanding entertainment, and now it's time to deliver on that promise. This next performance is the global debut of a very special musical tribute to Lisa. Lisa, the team have been working on this for months, quite frankly, and we're very excited to share it now for the first time. No one has seen this in the world. Lisa, this is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the phenomenal talent of the celebrity entertainment family. In an unprecedented year for our industry and the world, we have all look around us for strength, hope, and inspiration. And we found it in each other, this amazing community we call our family at sea. We cannot wait to return to sailing. And as Lisa has become so fond of saying, the comeback will be stronger than the setback when we do. We've written a special song, and we'd like to dedicate this song to you, Lisa, and all the men and women who cherish their life at sea. We're coming to you tonight from all over the world, and we hope you enjoy the world's premiere of When Our Ship Will Sail. One, two, two three, four. four. Yeah, the sun that sets in the morning, it will rise Rising from the ocean's water, sailing through the skies Like a chapter in a book, the ending of a maze A new beginning starts when we turn away When our ship will sail What an incredible dedication. And yes, Lisa certainly is a genuine golden compass, guiding her crew literally all over the globe. Speaking of crew, that's what we call in showbiz a fantastic segue. Speaking of crew, let's support this fine organization, Seafarer's House, who spend their lives literally looking after crew as we now launch our live auction. Remember, the only way to bid in the live auction is on your cell phone through the one course site, uh, just as you've been doing for the silent auction, uh, get those cell phones ready. And if you find that you need any help along the way, just check the uh, chat box on your screen. So there's plenty of ways to get help. Uh, now let's get the bidding started and raise a good amount of money for the fabulous Seafarer's House tonight. And auction item number one, 
beautiful diamond and sapphire earrings in sterling silver. Anne was wearing them and looking beautiful in them. These are stunners. Uh, they're donated by our friends at Dowd's Jewelers. Uh, they're valued, I mean, how to speak speak of such vulgar things as the value of an auction item, but around about $2,100. We would gladly uh, sell them for $100,000, but we're going to start the bidding at $1,000. They do look beautiful, I must say, Anne. <clears throat> I would encourage you to, uh, to buy them tonight. They're going cheap, quite frankly. It's as simple as that. Okay, so... Uh, Clicker in hand. I've got some details here that I'm looking at. Um, we are going to start the, we're going to go up in $100. We've already got a, look, we've already, it's already started. I can see. I've got all this technology. I can see, I'm going to have to use people's surnames, I'm afraid. Boris, uh, Anne, Bur oh, it's Anne. She's already bid here. I've, okay, all right. So we're going up in $100 increments. We're at $1,200 now. That's Berry. I can see it. Yep. Cliff Berry. I've, it doesn't matter. They can handle their surnames. Honestly, people are not so sensitive. 1,300, 1,300 now. Um, and can I encourage you? She's in the house. She's had a few drinks too. So, Barry, what about a, a bit of 10 grand, perhaps? Get, give, her another, give her another martini. Sure. 1,400 now. Malins hyphen Smith, bid of 303. Fantastic. 1,500 now. 1,500 now. I'm going to get all my little bits and bobs sorted out while you're going. Um, if I... I'm just looking at them. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've got a picture of them. They can't see this shot, can they? But they're beautiful earrings. They're like wings. They're like beautiful wings. Well, they can. They can see that. So if I go back, they get that shot. Oh, this is great. Look, I can make them dizzy. Look. So, oh, that's the next one. We're not going there. Um, so that, uh, 1600 now. I really want to get a couple of grand. So if you want me to stop annoying you, bid some more money. Look at those. They're like wings, right? Those are like, are they... Angel wing. Are they are they black diamonds? Are they black diamonds? They're sapphires. Of course they are. I, I now look stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, beautiful wings. Let's go back and have another look at uh, Anne's back in. All right, there she is. They do look good on you, Anne. She doesn't look like that now. Not after four martinis. It's a little bit different. Okay. Uh, so 1900 now. 1900. Let's go. There it is. 2100. You know what? I'm going to stop there. And thank you so much. Thank you for getting us to that wonderful price. If you want to add another 100 just to be nice, you can do it. It's up to you. But I think we'll call it sold, won't you? Yes. Okay. Sold. Give them a round of applause, everybody in the house. Beautiful. Okay. So the next item, and I can, I can click you there, is, okay. So a celebrity cruise for two. But, you know, and this is, I've done a lot of these auctions and there's always this cruise with a million restrictions. This is a seven day cruise out the Caribbean, but from any dest any uh, departure port, okay? I've got some people in the house now, so I'm gonna, even gonna sell it to them as well. Um, and any ship, am I right? Any ship, any ship. So they could go on the beautiful edge or even the apex if they wait a little bit longer. Okay, so starting bid, this is probably worth a walk. I mean, it's hard to price cruises. A couple of thousand dollars for a couple. The starting bid is a thousand dollars and we're gonna go up in increments of goodness knows what. I think it's a uh, hundred, 200, 200 dollars I think it is. Okay, so where are we at right now? We are at, uh, I don't see it up there. I don't see it up, I see. Andre Perlo, my friend Andre has bid for this. Of course it's live. It's wonderful. That's why they hired me. I'm the only person who can be thoroughly embarrassed in front of thousands of people in Fort Lauderdale. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about Celebrity Cruises. And by the way, obviously, I am part of the Royal Caribbean group, but I started at Celebrity. And the product at Celebrity is beyond the task of a simple mortal described with words because it's beautiful. Oh, it's up. There it is. We're at uh, 2,600 at the moment. Um, Alex Anagnostis, okay, easy to say, about an hour ago, before I had the, the red wine. But it's a beautiful product. Um, I just think the service is the best. Lorenzo, huh? Lorenzo does this. And Brian, huh? Are you there? And uh, Neil, Neil Gallagher. My brother Simon is probably watching right now, cringing. But anyway, it's, a, it's an incredible product, and you know this. And so it's no hardship to take a cruise. I think it might even be a tax deductible cruise because it's a charity contribution. I haven't figured that out 100%. I'm not sure. I'm not giving you tax advice. But I think it might be in the category of something you can uh, whip off the old tax return. Uh, so we are at 2,600. Um, 
Should we try a little bit more? Anyone want to give it a, another try? Maybe 2,800? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay up here much longer because it's hot under these lights and I, I do think I'm making people suffer. So I think twenty six hundred dollars. Um do you know the name of the person before this? Do you remember the name of the person that bid before this? Because here's what I'm thinking, because I know Lisa, she's a good personal friend. And I've, if you could tell me the name of the person that was up before Alex, I'm thinking we go back to Alex's bid and we give Don Jonathan Daniels. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Director of the port. The director of the port. Okay, and he wants a cruise. So obviously this is going to be good if we give him, you know. Okay, so work with me on this. Lisa, you're going to give us two cruises, not one. And we're going to go back to the 2,400. Okay, so Alex, you're now going to get the cruise for 2,400. And the other chap, the director of the port, he's getting it for 2,400. And if anyone's angry with me, I'll apologize later. If you can find me. Okay. So let's move on to the third, the third and final item. Back to the clicker, please. You're getting all, there it is. Oh, uh, oh yeah. okay. There it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. This is special. Uh, if you've cruised on the edge, I, uh, I can be almost certain that at some point during the cruise, you stood between the wings and had a photograph taken because it is a, an art piece that is so alluring. You literally, you can't not go stand there and get a photo. This is uh, by the same artist, um, and it is, it's a uh, Ruben Robierbe, and I've got some details here from Brazil. Uh, he did the wings on the edge, and on, the, uh, uh, and on um, Apex, he's done another beautiful piece, and that's a painting of it, correct? And this is an original oil. What's the size of it? 39 by 52. Let me read this out, okay, while you decide. And you can keep bidding. Go ahead. Andre, you can give us a bit more than that. Andre's not normally cheap. Come on, Andre, get in there and give us another bid. Bid against yourself. Um, listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to read this out, okay? <clears throat> this is the inspiration for the piece that we are currently auctioning. <clears throat> it is said, gods and goddesses sat at, on lotus thrones. Um, I'm not saying they did. I'm just reading the quote. Um, a symbol of spiritual enlightenment and rebirth. This throne is a tribute to the strength and power of women all over the world. Take your rightful place. Your throne awaits. And as a father of a daughter, I loved reading that. So there's a lot of uh, importance behind this piece. And I really do, I'd love to think that uh, we could get a bit more. It's worth 15,000, okay? It's worth 15,000. At the moment, the bid is 3,250. And guess what? Andre Perlo did bid against. Oh, no, it's, it's Berry. It's Anne. Is she? It's, is it? It's Anne? Oh, Cliff. It's Cliff. It's Cliff. 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 3,500. He's getting a bargain if we go for that. You want me to keep going for a bit longer? Hmm? Depends on how much longer my makeup holds up. <laughs> is, is it go, am I going yet? Am I going yet? That's okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, come on. Oh, Andre's gone in at 4,000. Andre's gone in at 4,000. It's a beautiful piece. Have I got anything else I can click through here to fill time? Look, there he is. Now, there is Ruben sitting in the actual piece, okay? And, uh, and this is a... So, I'm going to go back again. That's the painting of what he's sitting in now, okay? Cliff Berry is now at 4,250. 4,250. I'm going to do this again. Okay. Seat. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Oh, yeah, seat, painting, painting, seat. And uh, Andre's back at 4,500. I'm perfectly prepared to stand here all night, but do you think at some point we want, I think, I think people will start turning off. And we don't want them to turn off before we've actually done the whole reason we're here, which is to give Lisa an award. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Andre, I'm looking forward to seeing this piece hanging on the wall in your office sold for $4,500, and we thank you, Andre. Give him a round of applause, please. Keep the applause going while I figure out what's next. Okay, yes, thank you very much. I knew, really. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to take my spot. I'm going to compose myself, and I'm going to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for many reasons. Obviously, looking after the, the crew members of the world can't get much higher than that, but this is a very special moment, and it's an honor for me because we are about to give Lisa Lutoff Perlo a very special award. People sometimes want some context. What do you mean special? Well, one of the winners of this award that Lisa's getting tonight was Captain Phillips. So if you remember the movie Tom Hanks, that was a real-life story about a, a captain and crew that fended off and 
dealt with those Somalians, uh, the, the pirates, and, uh, and it all ended well in the end, but it was a very, very scary moment, and he was honoured for his work with his crew in that event. That's the award Lisa's getting tonight. Um, I've known her for years. We all love her. And now I'm going to show you a video that kind of gives you a little taste of the story that got her to this moment. Roll tape. Since joining the cruise industry 35 years ago, Lisa Lutoff Perlow has earned a reputation as one of the hardest working, most admired and transformative CEOs in travel. Widely recognized as a visionary leader, she has dedicated her career to being a catalyst for change from ship to shore and from the bridge to the boardroom. Always remember to bring others along with you. There's no greater joy than helping others achieve their dreams. I'll never forget the day I received an email from Captain Kate, and when I opened it, it said, how can I ever thank you for making my dreams come true? She has taken us to the edge of possibility and continues to elevate our expectations beyond the apex of what is possible at sea. None of us is as good alone as we are with an amazing team of people. A leader who always puts people at the center of her push for progress. It's really important that we bring other women along with us and I know in my role I've taken that responsibility. She leverages her influence to positively impact the community and lends her support to causes that ensure no one is left behind. Her desire for change has made the hopes and dreams of crew members around the world a reality, often in ways that seemed improbable just a few years ago. Carry the torch for equality and inclusion so that you can give a voice, stature, and opportunity to all who deserve it. Tonight, we honor a woman who sees opportunity where others see difficulty, and a woman whose legacy will be inextricably linked to her never-ending commitment to make the future of cruising a more beautiful and empowering experience for guests and the thousands of men and women who make up the dedicated crew. Go for it. Don't ever let anyone tell you you can't. Prove the naysayers wrong, work hard, and stay humble. Nobody knows better than us, your Celebrity Cruises leadership team, how committed you are to this industry the communities we serve, and the seafarers that makes up our Celebrity Cruises crew. You don't just tell us how to make the world a better place. You show us each and every day. Your compassion for others is one of the many things that makes you a phenomenal leader. But it is your commitment to paying it forward that makes you a truly remarkable person. Over the years, we've watched you give your time to organizations and important causes that you know can make a difference in people's lives. You remind us all to never forget that people are at the heart of why we do what we do. That's why honoring you as tonight's Seafarer's House Golden Compass 2020 honoree couldn't be more special or more well-deserved. Hi Lisa, from the bridge of the Celebrity Edge, I'm here with the ladies that you have put on this bridge because you are such a wonderful leader and an incredible woman, a beacon of hope, and we want to say congratulations, but we've, uh, we've had an in-depth conversation about what we actually address you as, and uh, because of this award and so many awards and what you've done, not only for our company, but for the industry, we want to call you what you are, and that is our badass boss lady. So congratulations. From the Celebrity Edge and all of the crew on board our ships, we love you. Dear Lisa, greetings from Constellation and congratulations. You are our compass for sailing beyond. Hola. Hola.
from the celebrity equinox. Hello, Lisa. This is the amazing Eclipse team. We would like to take this opportunity to say congratulations for your achievement and we wish we were there with you. We love you, Lisa. We love you, Lisa. Good day, Lisa. We heard the good news uh, about your uh, award, and since we cannot be there with you to give you a warm hug, we gather all here on board the Bridge of Celebrity Summit, and we want all together to say one thing. Ready? Congratulations, Congratulations Lisa. Lisa! Enjoy your day. Bye. 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 If you can tell, we're smiling. <laughs> From Celebrity Expedition, we want to send you our congratulations. Thank you for the great job you have been doing and for taking care of us. A big cue from the beautiful Galapagos Island. Congratulations, Miss Lisa! Hello, Lisa. I'm Captain Patricio from Celebrity Flora. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to say congratulations. On behalf of the entire Millennium team, congratulations! Looking forward to come back stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations! Congratulations! Dear Lisa from Celebrity Services at Singapore, a sincere congratulations! Yay! Congratulations to my love of my life, my rock, my star. Love you. Hey mom, congratulations. We are all so proud of you. You motivate me every day to be a better person and an even better leader. You're an amazing role model for your grandchildren. And again, congratulations. We love you so, so much. I cannot think of a more perfect award than the Seafarer's House Golden Compass from my sister who has offered refuge to every single member of our family at one time or another. I love you and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on the honor you received today from Seafarer House. I am sure it's well deserved. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you for the passion and commitment that you put into everything you do in making this world a better place. Congratulations, dear Lisa. Your honor is the consequence of your diligent work and endeavors and valiant soul. Please accept my heartfelt congratulations on this glorious achievement. Auntie, I just realized that you were getting an award and I'm like, she's getting an award? That's a shocker. But in all seriousness, I love you, Auntie. Uh, stop looking at my hair. I know you can, I know you're doing it, but like, I love you, Auntie. Thank you for always giving me these nice, soft blankets. I love blankets and yeah, just as much as I love you. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. Congratulations on your award. I'm so proud of you, and I can't think of anyone more deserving. Um, I love you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. To my favorite sister-in-law, although we don't agree on the status of Tom Brady, there is nobody in this world that I respect more than you. And it's no surprise that you'd be winning such a prestigious award as this. After all, the crew on board your ships are your family, and this industry that you've served for so many years is your home. Congratulations, we love you, and we can't wait to celebrate this with you together. Hi sis, congratulations, and love you so much. You have a kind heart, brave soul, and a fierce mind, and all of that has gotten you to where you are today. I love you. Hi Alisa, since I was a little kid, you have been the glue that brings our family together, and you've been a leader and an advocate for the people around you and the things that you believe in. Um, so it does not at all surprise me to see the Seafarer's House recognizing you tonight, but it does make me very happy. Love you and congratulations. Hey Lisa, we just wanted to say congratulations. We love you so much and we wish she could be with you on this special occasion. We know that once we finally get to get together, we'll, we'll celebrate big. We love you very much and I let Karen say everything. 
Have a great celebration. You deserve it. Congratulations, Congratulations Lisa. Lisa. We think you're the best. We're your biggest fans up here in Connecticut. We're your Northeastern fan club. We love you. We love you and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Congratulations, Auntie. I'm so proud of you. You are one of the biggest inspirations in my life and I hope that one day I can be just like you. Have a great night. Love you. Miss you. Mwah. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in congratulating our Seafarers House 2020 International Golden Compass honoree, Lisa Lutoff Perlow. <laughs> she said tears for the first time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so I think I'm supposed to talk now, although I don't know if I can. And um, Leslie, Jean, Anne, all of you at Seafarer's House, um, I can't thank you enough for this amazing honor tonight. Uh, not only the fact that you have recognized um, what I have done over the years for the amazing crew, and I'll get that I'll get to that in a moment. But the fact that you have all put together the most spectacular night under the most difficult of circumstances. I remember when you told me um, quite, a, quite a few months ago um, that you were honoring me with this award and that I just couldn't say anything for a couple of months and we were gonna celebrate together, um, I think in May. And, uh, and then the world changed. It changed in a really meaningful way for all of us. And uh, it took us until now, uh, almost October, to be able to do this. And I know what it takes to put together an evening like this. So I can't thank you enough for everything that you did to make this night so special for me. Uh, and I know that my team, my amazing, amazing team, helped so much um, put this together because it took a lot of a lot of logistics and a lot of um, coordination and with people all over the world uh, you know in the doing what they need to do uh, to make this night so special and I am so so grateful and I think and I hope that all of you can tell um, based on what people have done to make this night so special to me, why I love them all so much and why I care about them all so much. Not only my family and my team, but the amazing crew that we have across our ships and all of the ships all over the world. Um, that video that the Seafarers House put together about how seafarers are keeping things going in this really difficult time is so true and they need you now more than ever. And to all of the sponsors and donors who have um, committed so generously to Seafarers Houses for so, so many years, uh, including tonight and this event when I know that things aren't easy in your own companies, to travel partners like um, cruise planners and world travel holdings for you to step up um, and contribute to this amazing cause uh, in recognition and celebration of me receiving this honor is really, really wonderful. You know, our crew, um, as Richard said so beautifully, is the heartbeat and heart and soul of our brand. We all know that. All of the leaders um, that I work with every day that are part of tonight understand that we are nothing without our crew. Our brand is nothing without our crew. Nick was talking about how special celebrity is. Celebrity is nothing without its crew. Um, and they have my... Um, heartfelt gratitude. They have all of my affection. They have all of my energy and they are suffering right now. And um, they haven't been working for a really long time, not only since we had to shut down in March, um, but even before that, uh, when some of them were already off um, on their break and they need to come back to work. And so I am committed to working with so many people that are part of this evening. All of my friends at Port Everglades, um, we're working hard to bring this industry back so that our crew can get back to work and support their families and take care of um, the people that they love because um, it has been a really, really tough time for them. They have suffered um, you know, more than any of us have. And 
So we continue to fight the good fight for all of them. And, you know, I was, I was looking at um, my uh, amazing team that's sharing this night with me tonight, including Nick, who I met on a ship who was a stand-in cruise director. I think he and his brother Simon were actually conceived on ships. And now, um, you know, he goes from crew to senior vice president of entertainment for Royal Caribbean. Lisa Lair, our vice president of entertainment, started out as a dancer on the ships. Simon Weir, who's our vice president of hotel operations. I met him when he was a cruise director on Celebrity. Lorenzo, who is also um, here with us tonight, he was an assistant waiter. He's now our associate vice president of service excellence. Um, we have Patrick Dahlgren, who uh, was captain of Oasis of the Seas, is now senior vice president of global marine operations. And Manolis, who runs um, our marine organization, uh, started out on the ships and I met him when he was a staff captain. And Captain Kate McHugh, she started on this journey with me of helping us improve the ratio of women on our bridges from 3% to 27%. But I didn't do that alone. I work with amazing men every day, Brian, Abel, Manolis, Patrick, who really help us bring amazing women into this industry. Only 2% of the mariners in the world are women. And uh, we are committed to ensuring that that changes. Uh, we're up to 27% and we're still going. To all of you who have so graciously congratulated me tonight, thank you. To Seafarer's House, once again, thank you. To my team who put this night together, thank you. And for all of you who are contributing through the auctions, the live auctions, the silent auctions, my husband who won Empower Flower, which the story and the meaning behind that is so special. And now I'm going to get to hang it, not only hang it in my home, thanks to the generosity of the amazing artist, but also we have made, also been able to make a wonderful contribution to Seafarer's House. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, everyone. This has been a night I will never, ever forget. And I will continue to work tirelessly for the crew on all of the ships on all, all of the ships all over the world and continue to support Seafarer's House. Continue the great work, everyone. And thank you all so very, very much. Thank you all for joining us tonight. And congratulations to the LLP. I hope you've had a great night. It's been an awesome evening here with the few people that we managed to get off the street there's a janitor and the crew uh, but you know what it's the thought that counts and i think we've done some great work uh, tonight it's not over though because we invite you now to continue this celebration with us at the after party yes we're doing a virtual after party it's presented by our friends king ocean and you don't want to miss what's next because we have more entertainment coming your way we have the mind-blowing act that did something that's very rarely the case simon cowell uh, at Britain's Got Talent, at one of the recordings of Britain's Got Talent, was speechless. He literally could not speak. I saw it on TV myself, and then, because I've got a friend that works for um, that group, showed me the actual video. He could not believe what he saw. We have that act. They're called the DNA Mind Readers, and I'm going to show you a little quick preview so you can see exactly what they're going to do. It's mind-blowing. This is the, my favorite part of the show. One of the world's most incredible mind-reading double acts. D-N-A! They are truly incredible. Trust me, now is not the time to go do something else. The part of this event that everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow is the next part, so don't miss it. Now, to party on with us uh, and the DNA Mind Readers, simply sign off from this event and join the link in your chat box or follow the link, we've been talking about this all night, in the email you received uh, today about this big event. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I mean, I can't believe I've got to wrap it up, but guess what? I'm literally gonna go over to the other side and meet you at the party. But formally thanking you for this part of the show. Thanks for being with us and supporting the Seafarer's House at the 2020 International Golden Compass Award Gala, the virtual edition, the LLP edition. Stay safe. Be well, and I will see you literally in 30 seconds at the after party. Cheers. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, Nick, we can hear you. Guys, can you listen to this? We're at oh, my 30... God. I... Go ahead, Nick. Oh, my God. Tell us. We're Go. 30,000 already. It's still oh, going up. 30,000 for the gift. 30... 
Thirty-one thousand dollars. Yes. Crazy. I know it's a record. It's the best <laughs> ever. It's the best. Of course, it's the best ever. Of course, it's the best ever. Oh, that was all. You, you looked amazing. What a great speech, Lisa. Thank you so much. I've never seen you lost the words, and you were, and we all witnessed it. <laughs> Uh, and I'm sure you all loved it too. <laughs> oh, it was yeah, it was great. It was, the whole thing was great. It was and it's a great energy here. We don't obviously have many people here. By the way, there's a look at that beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow. Nick, Nick, can we ask where you're actually at physically? We are in a uh, secret location. <laughs> well, I didn't want any of you showing up. No, um, it's, we're, in, we're in a very nice studio in Pompano Beach. I'm just going to show. I'm, I know I shouldn't be doing this, and they're going to get upset with me. But look, there's a little photo here. Forever along with Captain Phillips. Anyway, yes, we're in Pompano Beach, and uh, high security here. And it's been awesome. We were obviously stressed about it, you know, because we're in the we're in the lap of the internet gods. Did you yeah. enjoy it, Lisa? You're muted. You're muted. I got to say that too. I got to say oh. that. <laughs> oh, your day is no, not I... complete if you can't tell someone they're muted. Oh. Go no, on. no, no. It's like I don't even know what to say. It's it's been. Um... Oh my God, it's been unbelievable. It's what a night, what a night, what a beautiful, beautiful tribute, what a beautiful night. And the fact that we actually got the crew to be part of the night. Is awesome. Just, oh my gosh, from all over awesome. the fleet, all over the world. And my friend Manolis, I see my friend Manolis there. How are you, my friend? It, Good, it to so Good to see you. Good to see you. Did you hear my little shout out to about McDonald's Farm? I'm looking for a Yeah, I was, ready, I was ready to do it. Oh, awesome. I'm just looking around the room to see all my friends from Celebrity. Thank you, Ken. I see you, but this is not about us. So I'm going <laughs> to well, well done. Ken Rush. I'm just, Ken I think Rush. I can say. Congrats, awesome. Lisa. Thank you, Ken Rush. Thank you for that generous donation. Oh, you're welcome. And you know what? You beat me, I think, oh. by, we're both 35 years. So I think you got me by a few oh, months. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, long time. I'm very happy for you. Thank you're you, my friend. You're a trailblazer, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, okay, so we're, uh, I don't know what we're up to now. On well, I can tell you. So, so, so first of all, can we do, so we're going to do something very cool now uh, that I think is going to blow some minds. But what I need to do, if I can, is Mel, can you spotlight, can I have Darren and Andrew and myself force them into the spotlight? And have I got to change my view too? I think I've got to go to speak. Hey, wait, view. Nick, Nick, yes. Roland, Roland, you've had a good night tonight. Thank you. All because of you. Oh, I don't know about that, but that was so amazing. And hey, they've bid $2,000 to have lunch with me. I'm like, are they, oh my God, that's crazy. That is beautiful. Look I think we that. have to bid that one up. <laughs> yeah, Nick, Nick, could you bid that lunch? Up? Let's upgrade it to dinner and get more money for that. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> or we can just take double the money from Roland. Either way, it's all good. <laughs> okay, Hi, Lisa, uh, congratulations. Oh, Vicky, thank you so much. Where are you? I can't see you. You and Michelle, thank I'm you. I'm here. I have, I have my cat in the background. Oh, <laughs> thank, you your, thank you for your sponsorship, too, my friend. You <laughs> got it. You got it. We're so proud of you. Thank for sure. You so much. Back at you. Back at you. We even you. got dressed up a little bit today for you. Hey, look at me. I'm in like sparkly <laughs> and ear. I was like, I was like, this was so unusual. I was, I had my gown all ready for the gala. And I said, all right, now what do I do? But I was able to find a few sparkles. <laughs> but I won't, I will tell you that I have pajama pants on. Yeah, everyone has pajama pants on. <laughs> I, I want to say it too. I'm sorry, I couldn't find my mute. <laughs> Hi, Michelle Fing. And I wore my sparkly Look shirt. Too. Wow. But I, but I have pajama pants on too. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I uh, I, obviously have, I obviously have pants on, but uh, but I would recommend it to all of you when we come out of covid and we go back into the real world you need to practice your pants a few times because the chafing has killed me tonight oh. Oh. Hey, hey lisa bug bug didn't put any pants on for you sorry no pants <laughs> okay uh, so lorenzo, proud of you lorenzo i think you do 
I think you do. Um, oh, it's so great. This is going well. This is a good after party, as after parties go. Oh, we're at 3,200, 32, 32, 32,600. I can't see it from here, and Anna's had too much to drink. Here. So is that the best ever? Okay, so I'm telling you, Lisa, this is the biggest amount of money we've ever raised at this event in history. Hi, Lisa. I was able to send in money. Thank you, Renee. Love you, sis. Thank you. Love you, sweetheart. You look gorgeous. Well, thank you. Congratulations, Lisa. Thank you. Very proud of you. Keep shouting out, guys. Keep shouting out. Keep shouting out. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Nick, Nick, can we make, can we make a right now? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Somebody's trying to talk to me, but it's, you know, we've got about 100 people on this, so it's impossible. Anyone else want to shout out to Lisa? Hey, Lisa. Lisa, it's Ginger. I've got, I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got a, Ginger, you have the best outfit of the night. I have lived life on the edge. You see my cap? Yes. No gowns for me, Lisa. No, no gowns for you, Ginger. No, no, don't ever do that to me. No. Auntie, we love you. We love you. Congrats, Lisa. Thank you, Pat. Oh, there's Aaron. Hello. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. Okay, hey, Lisa. guys, guys, I've got to time it out because we're. Bill, we're, we're, Bill. we're Hi, Bill. How are you? Hey. Bill. I, could, I didn't think Bill, I was getting through. Bill Baumgartner. It's so great to see you. I'm so proud of you. These people just want to keep going. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Oh, dear. Yeah, we thought this so was going to work. Okay, so now how much internet have we paid for? I better go again. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Oh, we, we're using turbo internet, five megs. Okay, now, so Mel, I'd like to let's so on with the show now, guys. We could talk all night, but and you can talk afterwards when we're done. But Mel, can we go back to the uh, the spotlight view? I want Darren, Andrew, and me. Okay, now, how do I get that view? I think I've got to go to speak. There, okay, so Lisa, uh, I'm going to talk to these two gentlemen first, and then I'm going to ask you to come back into this room, ladies and gentlemen. You are if you should now go to speak of you, am I right? Speak of you. And you will see me and two gentlemen who are going to blow your minds. Actually, they're going to do more than blow your mind. They're going to read your mind. So Dan and Andrew, hello. Nice to see you. You are DNA mind readers. And you are one of the only accent in history that managed to make Simon Cow speechless. So it's really rather... Thick. So how long have you been in business, guys? How long have you been together? About two weeks all together now. Uh, so we've been so far. <laughs> And, and everyone's talking about you. I mean, apparently it's really something special. I Maybe we'll do a little Q&A afterwards if you want, but I just want to say I've, I've heard about you. I've seen some video online. I don't know how you do it. Let's amaze people. So now what I'd like to do is, can, Mel, can you now force Lisa lutoff Perlo into this room? Okay, Lisa, I'd like you to meet Darren and Andrew. Darren and Andrew, I'd like you to meet Lisa lutoff Perlo. Take it away. Over to you. It's showtime. Oh God, Lisa! It's a real pleasure to uh, to join you at your event tonight, and c congratulations on your award. Um, the best way that our show can be enjoyed is if everyone, apart from Lisa, has their uh, microphone on mute. So if everyone puts their microphone on mute, if it's not already, make sure everyone's on mute. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, Lisa, we are going to come back to you in a moment, but before we get started, I'd like to point out that we never set anything up with anyone in advance. What, what everyone's about to see is going to happen for the first time right here, right here. Now, sure, what yeah. I'm going to tell you all some mind reading that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. But before we get started, I'd like to draw everybody's attention to this piece of paper. Now, this piece of paper contains a prediction, and this prediction is going to be really important at the end of the show. But for now, I want everybody to remember just one piece of paper goes into the cup. The cup will be here in full view the entire time and we'll come back to it at the end of the show. Now in 2017, Andrew and I reached the final of Britain's Got Talent. In our first audition, live at the world famous London Palladium, we invited Simon Cowell up on stage with us 
and took him on an imaginary journey in his mind. Lisa, if we may, we're going to recreate that journey with you right now. And I'd like to point out before we get started, we genuinely have never met before. We have not set anything up in advance. Okay. Every decision you're about to make, I'm going to write it down on this pad. It will remain in full view the entire time. Please understand you have a totally free choice. Lisa, I want you to imagine that you're, you're standing in front of an imaginary house in your mind. You look at the door on this imaginary house and you see an imaginary door number. Any number you like. Whatever you say, I'm going to write it down at the top, nice and big here. So, whenever you're ready, Lisa, what number are you thinking of? Does it have to be a single number? You have a free choice. There's no oh, restriction. Okay. okay. Yeah. Please say it out loud for the first oh, time. I had to say it out loud. I thought you were going to read my mind. Okay. <laughs> one, two, one, five, one. One, two, one, five, one. Yep. Yeah. And that was a free choice. Now, Lisa, you walk into this imaginary house and you go into an imaginary front room, a living room. You have a, a sofa and a TV. You look over at the walls of this front room and you see a dominant color on the walls. You have a completely free choice, any color you like. Red. What color are you thinking of? Red. Red. So I'll write down red. You now go out of this imaginary living room into an imaginary kitchen. You look over at the wall of the kitchen and you see a celebrity calendar on the wall. Anyone in the world, it could be a man, a woman, they could be dead, alive, real or fictional, it's an unrestricted choice. But go for somebody that everyone would know, if you don't mind. And a, oh, you mean a celebrity? <laughs> Not like a celebrity cruises, just a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. So that's right, Bruce Spring. And is it E I N at the end of Springsteen? I think. E double E. E E double E. There you go. Double E. Double and then, e. yeah, like that. Yeah. Bruce Springsteen. So we had one two one five one two one five one. The color red and Bruce Springsteen. Lisa. I'm going to leave that right there. That will remain in full view the entire time. And thank you very much for your cooperation. We're going to come back to you a bit later in the show. Oh, okay. I'm done now. You pop yourself back on mute. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now, 2020 you, has been an unusual year for all of us, to say the least. We've all experienced unprecedented times, and lockdown was especially challenging for all of us. During lockdown, for me, I was more aware of the 24 hours in each and every day. We're going to create a random time. We're going to invite two people to join us on Spotlight at random. I've got uh, Ken Rush. You're going to join us on Spotlight, if you don't mind. And also Katie Hagen, I believe. We're going to get you both to join us on, on Spotlight and get involved in the show. So we'll wait for you guys to join us. Yeah, we're going to wait till you're on Spotlight. Can you say the names one more time? Yeah, no problem at all. We chose, um, it was Katie Hagen. And it was Ken. Ken yes. Ken okay. Hi. That's it. And you can you can put Lisa off the spotlight now. We can just leave us just with the four of us. So you two are going to create a random time. Ken, we're going to start with you. You're going to think of a random hour of the day. Now I don't want you to say anything out loud, Ken, but what I'd like you to do to get that random hour is to think of a number between one and twelve. Like I said, just get it in your mind, don't say anything out loud. Yeah. And Katie, you're going to think of a random minute. So to get that random minute, I'd like you to think of any number between one and 59. But don't say it out loud, just lock that number in your mind. Have you got that? Great. So you guys are both thinking of random numbers that we couldn't have known in advance that make up a random time. You're gonna to need to use your imaginations for this. So I want you to imagine on the palm of my hand, you see the face of a clock on the palm of my hand, okay? Now, Ken, you're thinking of a number between one and 12. Would you say out loud for the first time what number you're thinking of? Six. The number six. Yeah. And Katie, you're also thinking of a number, right? Between one and 59, signaling the, the minute of the hour. What, what number are you thinking of? Katie, Katie. I think you're on mute. I think you're on mute, Katie. Katie, on mute. 
I tell you, do you want to just signal it with your fingers then if we can't get your audio? 11, is that 11? Is that right? So 11 minutes past six. Two numbers we couldn't have known in advance and we asked you to use your imagination for this. I asked you to imagine the face of a clock on the palm of my hand and the, the, the hours, the hour and minute hammer spinning and spinning. They stop on a random time. Now, if you've been imagining that, You've been looking at the palm of my hand. If you've been looking at the palm of my hand, you've noticed my wrist and on my wrist, there's a strap to a watch. If you have a look at the time that my watch is set to, it's, it is exactly yeah. 11 minutes past six. 11. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You guys can pop yourselves back on mute. Now, in this day and age, it's getting more and more it's getting easier to be influenced by what's around us. Now, before what's about to happen occurs, I want to point out, here I have a deck of cards. Inside this deck, Andrew and I turned one card the wrong way around before the show started. I'm going to leave that right there in full view. Now, we're going to get two people involved in this. So, Darren, do you want to choose? Yeah, I'm going to go for Denise Mello, if you don't mind, and Cliff Berry. You guys are going to join us in Spotlight. If you can take yourselves off mute, that would be awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Excellent. So, Denise, we're going to start with you if we can. Denise, in a deck of cards, there are 52 different cards, but 26 of them are red and 26 of them are black. Whichever you choose, we're going to use. So would you like to use the red cards or the black cards? Um, red. We're going to use the red cards. Excellent choice. Now, Cliff, out of those red cards, again, whatever you decide to go with, we're going to use. You can use hearts or diamonds. It's a free choice. Which would you like to use, hearts or diamonds? Hearts. Great choice. Denise, back to you. Out of those hearts, you've got the 10 number cards and you've got the three pictures, the Jack, the Queen and the King. Would you like to use the number cards or the picture cards? Picture. The picture cards. Great choice. Now, Cliff, the last decision falls to you. You chose reds, you chose hearts, you chose pictures. Out of those pictures, you've got the Jack of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, and the King of Hearts. Which would you like to go with? Queen. The Queen of Hearts. Yes. And now you'll remember exactly what happened. That deck of cards was in full view the entire time. And we chose hearts, or rather we chose red, then hearts. Then we chose the pictures and Cliff, you decided on the Queen of Hearts. And we told you ahead of time that one and only one card was facing the wrong way round. And that card is... <laughs> exactly the Queen of Hearts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, as you can see, we like to get as many people involved in our shows as possible. Now, often people have a lucky or maybe a favorite number so we're going to get a couple of people involved in this again. So I'm going to scroll across the gallery view. I've got, um, I've got Kevin Rosseff. We're going to get you to join us, if you don't mind, on, uh, on Spotlight. And I've also got David Ross. Would you mind joining us as well? Thank you so much. You two are going to do the same thing at the same time. I'd like you both to think of a number in your mind between 1 and 100. Understand you have a free choice, any number you like. You're not going to say them out loud at the same time, but Kevin, we're going to start with you first, if you don't mind. So I've got a number in your mind between one and 100, and I'm going to show you my phone right here. I want you to think in your mind, you're thinking of a number between one and 100. I want you to say it out loud for the first time yes. the number you're thinking of is? 61. 61. I want to show you here on my phone, I have some notes. Can you see that? And at the top of the notes, I have a list of celebrities. I, you can see every I, single one is different. You've okay. got Michael Jackson at number one, Tom Hanks at number two. Every, every single one is different. And you had a free choice of any number you want. Yeah, you said number 61. I'm going to scroll all the way Correct. down. So number 61. You've got number 61 right there. It says... Okay. Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. And that was a complete Leonardo choice. DiCaprio. And that was a completely free choice. And David, you're Correct. not thinking of the number 61 as well, are you? 
No, okay. All right, that would have been a coincidence, but not quite what we're going for. For the first time, David, what number are you thinking of between one and 100? The number five. The number five, yeah? I want to show you here on my phone. Underneath the list of celebrities, I have a list of grocery items. Items you can buy in the grocery store. You've got rice, orange juice, milk, eggs. In fact, number five, it says apples, right? Apples. And there's only one apples on that entire list. And again, a totally free choice, a choice that we couldn't have known in advance. Now, Kevin and David, you both had a free choice. You ended up with Leonardo DiCaprio and you ended up with apples. What I didn't tell you is since the beginning of the show, I've had an envelope stuck to the wall behind me. And inside this envelope, I don't think you're going to believe it, is a single photograph of Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> enjoying an apple. Thank you guys so much. Wow. Thank you very much. Terrific. Sales back on you. Now, Lisa, you'll recall at the beginning of the show, we asked you to think of three things. We took you on an imaginary journey in your mind. You thought of the numbers one, two, one, five, one, the color red and Bruce Springsteen. Decisions that we couldn't possibly have known in advance. And of course, you'll remember at the top of the show, I showed you that we placed a prediction inside this mug. Uh -huh. And I don't think you're all gonna believe this, but what we actually wrote down, I'd like to share with you right now, because what we predicted was exactly the number one, two, one, five, one, we predicted exactly the colour red. We thought you'd go for Bruce Springsteen. Guys, it's been a pleasure to join you here this evening. Lisa, congratulations again on your award. We are DNA. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Let's hear it for them. That, that's amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I, and I hope, Lisa, you don't mind sharing these two superstars with, uh, with Royal, because I'm going to book them now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See how you are. <laughs> Sorry, it's an opportunity. Um, okay, guys, you want to take us off? Uh, uh, off? Uh, what, what is it called? Spotlight view. Lisa, thank you very much. It's been a wonderful night. I mean, we're going to leave this open for about another, you know, for ten, fifteen minutes. If anyone wants to swap email addresses, but it's been a great night. And even the virtual party work, which, which you know, these things can sometimes, um, mind you, we get, if we'd have spoken to each other nine months ago and said, we'll be doing an, an, a, an award night on computers, including a, a, a stray <laughs> act from a mind, we'd have all thought we were nuts. Lisa, we love you. Thank you much, so much for everything you do for us. I love you. You, uh, you really are the, the key to so many people's careers, and mine included. So love you. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for Lisa. Bye, guys. Have a great evening and thanks for coming. $32,000. Bye. 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 Love you. Go, Patriots. <laughs> Go, Bucks. Go, Bucks. Go, Bucks. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Wish we were there. Oh, really? Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Lisa. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. So good seeing you both. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Lisa. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Leslie. I need to say bye, Captain K. Love you. Bye, Manolis. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you again, Lisa. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you uh I hope you were pleased with the results of the night. It was a great, great night. Absolutely, absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you for everything. It was a beautiful All the best to you. Thank you, my friend. I hope to see you soon. You take care. Well, th thank you, Lisa. Thank you for being our honoree and everything you do for the industry. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you so very much for all you do for all of our seafarers. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.
Maria, bye, my friend. Mwah. Thank you for everything. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you and congratulations. Thank Today you. was a great day. I saw Lamp for the first time in a long time, and I saw my president and CEO in tears of happiness. Oh so my congratulations. I was so touched. I was so, so touched. It was beautiful. Thank it was you. a beautiful Thank night. You. Thank you very much. Thank you for being a part of it, Maria. Mwah. It was a pleasure. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. I hope so. Yes. Yes. And wait. Bye, Lisa. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have Welcome. a great day. Best of luck in fair winds and calm seas for you and your team moving Thank forward. You. Thank you. Yeah, that would be so nice. Thank you so much. It's time. Very incorporated. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much. And thank you for all the support. It was lovely. Uh, what a lovely night. Thank you for it's being our here. Pleasure. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Ciao. Where's that, my friend Leslie? Are you there, my friend? Yes. yes. Hi, sweetheart. Yes. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> so do you. And, <laughs> And you make yeah, we clean up pretty well. Huh? Yeah, we clean up pretty well. Every once in a while. Thank you so much. Your team, I have to tell you, your team is just amazing. Amazing. Wow. Just a beautiful, beautiful bunch of people, and they did a wonderful, wonderful job. Really so, so, so grateful. Oh, and you thank you for saying them. yes all those months ago. Who could have known? <laughs> Who could have known, right? But, no. you know, your team such an amazing job it's so hard to pull off something like this but you guys did a great job it was a beautiful beautiful event i mean thank you dear i can't take the credit my team did all the tough stuff i just have to get dressed up and show up you know <laughs> i know how that goes i know how that goes but you know, right? hey, Leslie, you see pretty well tonight yeah, we did really well. The 32,700 is the largest we've ever had on Gift from the Heart. Yes, so, and your lunch, my God, everybody oh, wants wow. to have lunch with Lisa. <laughs> it's awesome. That's wonderful. It's wonderful. So, a very popular lady. Yeah, thank you. And I have to tell you, throughout this process, we would do testing with your ships and your crew, and they were all telling me how much they love you. So it was just, I talked to, um, oh, I can't think of his name, the guy who's the captain of the ship, um, the Flora, maybe. He's an Ecuadorian. He's a lovely guy. Patricio, maybe? Yes, Captain yeah. Patricio. Oh, he just loves you so much. And it was just so much fun chatting with them and hearing what they're you know, they're doing there and how much they love that assignment to be able to the world. You can see all the ships all over the world with, you know, just a few crew in their face. It was like, I haven't seen them for so long. It was beautiful. I'm was so glad. I'm so glad. Well, you, you know, Jill Spencer is a star. Yes, and so, is. so is Susan Lomax. They did a wonderful, wonderful job. Couldn't have done it without them. I mean, your whole team, your whole team is... Thank you guys, you. you guys deserve the wonderful reputation that you have. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you <laughs> so nice for Richard. I'll have to send him a note. Richard yeah. was really lovely, so I'll send him a note as well. Yeah. So we will start to shut this down now so you can go relax and have another glass of wine. There you go. And, yeah. <laughs> and you thank you all so much for being, see, there's Roland. He's ready to Hello. give you another kiss. <laughs> He pulled in some good money tonight. So oh, he did good. He did good. Well, he's our treasurer, so he worries about these things. I know. I know. <laughs> he's a very good one, too. So no doubt in my mind. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start to work on ending the connection. Okay. But thank you, darling, and enjoy the rest of your evening. It's lovely to see you and thank you, thank you. Ciao, ciao, everyone. Take care. Bye, Renee. Love you. Hey.